off our anniversary year by unveiling our time capsule in commemoration of that original groundbreaking of this laboratory on January 23rd, 1941. This sculpture serves as a symbol of not only our proud past, but also as a commitment to the future. To begin the celebration, I would like to introduce our director, Mr. Larry Ross. Hold that thing down. <laughs> I'm trying to build suspense. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, what a wonderful turnout. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and visitors, this is just great. Thank you so much for being part of this kickoff event where we look back on 50 years of proud history and look forward to 50 years of grand challenge. And I think you'll notice as we, for the second time today, unveil our special sculpture, which I am proud to say was done the artistry was done by a Lewis employee who you'll meet a little bit later on. That employee, Mr. Frank Calco, using computer-aided design and manufacturing, CADM equipment, developed the final design. The finished design consists of a pedestal 62 inches high, holding a sphere 36 inches in diameter, with an 85 inch long band mounted on the sphere in an orbital configuration. The initial idea of the time capsule was conceived by the 50th Anniversary Committee. Key personnel from various organizations met weekly to advise and coordinate its development. Lewis employees as well as support service contractors worked together to prepare the site and manufacture and assemble the sculpture. A template of the pedestal was made of plywood using CADM drawings as a guide. This template was used as a pattern to cut foam slabs to the correct size and shape. These pieces of foam were glued together to create the full-size model of the base. The foam model was then hollowed out to a wall thickness of one and a half to two inches needed to satisfy good design requirements of an aluminum casting this size and shape. The full-size foam pattern was then placed in a core box and backfilled with foundry sand, creating a styrofoam cavity which will vaporize and be displaced by molten aluminum. This process is known as lost foam casting. The entire casting was ground smooth and shot blasted to achieve the desired surface texture. While the pedestal was being prepared, the halves of the sphere were spun from stainless steel plate an access hole was machined through the base of the sphere to provide a loading port. The halves were then welded together and polished to a smooth finish here at Lewis. The third element of the design, the orbit piece, was cut from a long strip of stainless steel which was then formed to shape in a rolling press. The bronze color is due to an unusual heat treatment. The completed site is now ready to receive the sculpture as the dedication day draws near. Captures the notion of building on the foundation of our 50 years past and looks forward to exciting 50 years in front of us and it's just wonderful. And I'm gonna call up uh, the assistant unveilers now that we've seen how it can be done to join me. You have two former center directors uh, in the group. John Kleinberg, our most recent center director. Please join me, John Kleinberg. Yay. Andy Stothan, uh, before John, our center director, come join me. And Lewis Research Center is particularly a community product. And as we move into our celebratory year, I think all of us wish to emphasize the sense of community. We have with us a very close friend of the center and a very prominent member of the media community to help us celebrate today and has a few words about the community aspect of this matter. Larry Morrow. You should be proud. You know, we all know that we live in the greatest city in America for, uh, for a variety of reasons. We live here because we love it and the legacy that we want to leave is that it's not only a great place to live but to work, to play and raise a family. And you are that reason for that. Don't ever lose 
that kind of feeling. Thank you all for having me today. I'm delighted to be here. God bless you all. Capsule stands to greet employees and visitors, extending a special thank you to those who contributed their talents to the past 50 years and challenging those in the next 50 years. <laughs>